Hi, my name is Sheila Tatum, and I want to welcome to the Fast Devotion. And I would like to share with you a brief testimony of what fasting did for me. And I understand as a corporate fast, it's a group fast, and that was so effective in my life. And so back years ago, I was a young adult, and I was a member of a church of a young people who were sold out to God and very focused in who God was in their life. And so I wanted to be like that, and so God gave me that desire. And as a, in the fast, at the time we were doing a corporate fast and we were fasting as a group and we were really digging into God's word and praying and seeking God's face. And there was a desire of mine that I wanted to be free from the spirit of fornication. And that was a struggle of mine as a young adult. And I know some of you can, um, can relate to that. And so during that fast, God gave me a scripture and it's Isaiah 58, six. It says, know this, the kind of fasting I want. Free those who are wrongfully in prison Lighten the burden of those who work for you and let the oppressed go free and remove the chains that bind people. And so that's what fasting did for me. It removed the chains that were bound to my life. And so through the time of fasting and praying, I received the spirit of freedom in my, in my, in my personal life in regards to my sexual relationship. And as a single parent, that was a huge thing for me because the enemy tried to tell me that it couldn't be possible. But through fasting and praying, I received deliverance and freedom, and I didn't go back to that lifestyle anymore. And so God can free me, and I know he can do it for you. And so that's my testimony. Because God, I chose to fast. God broke the spirit of lust off my life, and I experienced total freedom, and never had that issue or that desire again until until God married, until we got married. And I, I believe that fasting is what fasting did. And I believe that's what God's going to do for you. For those of you who struggle in that area, trust God in the fast. And so now I want to go to our devotion, and I would like to read to you um, Matthew 2:16 to 23. And in this story, it's, the focus is on a, on a young man named Joseph. And so let's go there. Um, Harold was furious when he realized that the wise men had outwitted him. He sent soldiers to kill all the boys in around Bethlehem and who were two years old and under and under, based on the wise men's report of the star's first appearance. Herod's brutal action fulfilled what God had spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. The cry was heard in Ramah, weeping and great mourning. Rachel weeps for her children, refusing to be comforted, for they are dead. When Herod died, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt. Now I'm in verse 20. It says, Get up, the angel said. Take the child and his mother back to the land of Israel, because those who were trying to kill the child are dead. So Joseph got up and returned to the land of Israel with, with Jesus and his mother. Verse 22. But when he learned that the new ruler of Judea was Herod's son, um, Archelaus, he was afraid to go there. Then after being warned in a dream, that was the second dream, he left for the, the region of Galilee. So verse 23. So the family went and lived in a town called Nazareth, thus fulfilled what the prophets had said, and he will be called a Nazarene. So we know Joseph was not Jesus' biological father, right? He was his legal father. And God came to him and spoke to him in a dream. And I think we hear so much about Mary, but what about Joseph? He was a man that accepted the call of parenting a child that wasn't physically his, but he understood the call of God on his life. And he answered the call. And when God spoke to him in a dream, he, I'm sure he woke up and gave, God gave him the translation of that dream. And he acted with urgency. And because of his wisdom and because of his willingness to obey God, Jesus was protected as a child. God has protected the seed of God. Joseph protected the seed of God. And so the seed of God is the word of God, logos, God among us. And the word of God lives in us. And so we as followers of Christ, how are we protecting God's seed? Do we take that serious? Do we hear the word of God? And do we act immediately? And do we obey God's word like Joseph did? So that's the question to you in your devotion today. How accurately am I studying God's word? And how am I interpreting God's vision and word to me? And am I applying the word of God? Am I acting like Joseph and protecting the seed that's been given to me? And so that's my challenge to you in this devotion, to respond to God's word and to act on his word and protect the seed that God has given you. Amen.
So let's, at this time, let's close in a word of prayer. Father God, I thank you for your word. I thank you for the life of Joseph. I thank you for his obedience to the call to protect the promised seed that was given to us, the child that was born and given to us. And I thank you for his urgency and the same urgency that Joseph possessed. I pray, God, as we as a people, that we will abide in your word, that we will protect your word, and that we will obey your word, and that we will act with urgency. I thank you, Father, now for this time. And we bless you, God, in Jesus' name. Amen.